What's up guys? Today's video is very exciting because Chick-fil-A finally has new items that we are going to be trying. I am so excited. I feel like Chick-fil-A rarely comes out with new items, especially food items. So they have a new honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. It looks so good. It says it comes with the original Chick-fil-A patty topped with custom made creamy pimento cheese, mild pickled jalapenos served on a warm toasted bun drizzled with sweet honey oh my gosh it sounds absolutely amazing and then we're also going to get a new milkshake they have a caramel crumble milkshake which was formerly known as the butterscotch crumble milkshake so i am super excited for this food i absolutely love chick-fil-a okay i will see you guys over there all right you guys we are in line at chick-fil-a who is excited for this sandwich let me know if you plan on trying this i know pimento cheese is not for everyone i've heard a lot of people say they don't really like pimento cheese now i actually thought I didn't like it like when I was younger but I had never actually tried it so if you have not tried pimento cheese before you need to try it I usually eat it with crackers but the thought of it on a chicken sandwich oh I am here for it hey I'm good how are you doing you're so pretty oh thank you out. so of are you course. can I get a name uh Daisy Daisy all right how may I serve you today um can I get the new honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich of course did you want just the regular filet um can you do spicy yeah. i'll do spicy all right and did you want the meal or just the sandwich i'll do the meal please the meal and the beverage with that do you guys have coke zero uh, or just diet do. coke we have coke zero i'll do coke zero yeah. then guys, thank you any sauces or condiments um i'll do some buffalo, buffalo and maybe some chick chick-fil-a sauce chick -fil -A yeah all right would that be it for you today? um can i also get the caramel crumble milkshake please of all right, would that be it? Um, and then a medium fruit cup. Medium fruit cup. And that's gonna be it. All right, I just have a honey pimento spicy with a medium frat and a Coke Zero, buffalo with Chick-fil-A sauce, and then a crumble cookie with a fruit cup. Yes, perfect. All right. Would you like to scan your code or? Um, let me see if I have it pulled up. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Twenty-one oh two. All right, you have a great day. Thanks, you too. Yay, I am so excited for this sandwich. Like I said, I feel like Chick-fil-A rarely comes out with new items. And it's funny because Gabe was like, you need to do a video on new Chick-fil-A items. And I was like, what are you talking about? Chick-fil-A never has new items. <laughs> He's so clueless. But then I saw they were coming out with this sandwich and I was like, oh my prayers have been answered they actually came out with a new spicy chicken biscuit a while ago i have not tried it yet have you guys tried it i don't know if it's everywhere anyways i'll see you guys once we get the food all right you guys we have secured our chick-fil-a bag as well as our chick-fil-a drinks we got our coke zero as well as our milkshake i am stuck in the line currently because the car in front of me has not gotten their food yet that's the only thing about chick-fil-a if you get the food before the car in front of you you just have to wait patiently but i'll check in with you guys once you know we get out of this line and we can get set up okay i found some parking we got the table out let's see what we got going on in our chick-fil-a bag we have our delicious chick-fil-a fries i went through this phase where i was not into chick-fil-a fries but here lately i've been back into them and then we have lots of extra napkins we got chick-fil-a sauce and buffalo sauce i didn't really care to get sauce but i figured i guess while she's asking me i might as well try to get some and then we have our star of the show the honey pepper pimento sandwich i did get it with a spicy filet because i personally prefer their spicy filet and i feel like the spicy filet kind of mixed with the honey is going to be a really good combination mm, my gosh <gasps> look at that oh it looks so good okay let's get this all set up here oh i can taste the honey oh i forgot i also got a fruit cup i love kick filets fruit cups they're kind of pricey for what they are but they got some really good fruit i just don't like the blueberries that's like the only thing i don't really eat but it comes with strawberries these little tangerines 
that what they are? They're like the canned tangerines. Apples, blueberries. So yeah, I, I really have been loving Chick-fil-A's fruit cups and they're so refreshing to eat alongside like the really savory food. Okay, then we have our caramel crumble milkshake. You guys can't really like see the color of it. I guess you can kind of see like right there. Oh, you know what it looks like? A cookie butter milkshake, like a cookie butter milkshake with some nuts mixed in. That's kind of what the texture is looking like. Last but not least the coke zero mm. they got pretty good coke zero too all right we got the table all set up looking nice and pretty i'm gonna dig into these fries first mm. yeah something about chick-fil-a fries have been really hitting the spot here lately also really like their waffle fry potato chips. Sometimes like I'll get the regular spicy chicken sandwich. No, I'll get the grilled chicken sandwich, but I'll swap out the bun for this white bun. So I'll get that and then I'll get the waffle fry potato chips in a fruit cup. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect lunch. Because it's a little bit lighter since you're not getting the fries. And I find that multi-grain bun that usually comes on the grilled chicken sandwich, I do not like that bun, is way too hard. It reminds me of their gluten-free bun, which I stopped getting because I just got sick of their gluten-free bun. So if you guys get the grilled chicken sandwich, try swapping out the bun for the white bun. The white bun on the grilled chicken sandwich is a game changer, let me tell you. Mm. Wasn't sure where I put my napkins, but I found them. Okay, now let's try this honey pepper pimento sandwich. Oh my gosh, I am so ready for this. Okay, so that what we are looking like I mean come on how delicious does that look you guys I bet y'all want to take a bite right now yes you do because I do okay so many flavors at once hold on I'm gonna have to get a few more bites to like really understand what's going on here Okay, wow. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I do like it. I do. I, I really like it. I think maybe the honey is kind of throwing me off because the pimento cheese is very savory, kind of salty. The jalapenos give it a kick, but then you get all that sweetness from the honey. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay. I'm trying to think. Personally, I really do like it. However, I can actually see a lot of people not liking it. Because the flavors are so interesting, it's just very different. That pimento cheese though. That pimento cheese is so good. Also, can I just say, I am so ready for fall, you guys. I have just been in such a good mood here lately, thinking about fall and planning for fall. I've been like planning 
my fall outfits i've been fall shopping i've just been getting my wardrobe ready for fall because if there is one thing i love about fall time it is the the fashion choices the wardrobe i feel like fashion and making outfits in the fall time is so much better than any other season maybe spring is a close second but summer is just always so hot so you can't really like wear that much you can't layer and then winter time it's so cold that you can't like be i mean you can still dress cute i do like winter time fashion but fall time is just perfect fall time is absolutely perfect i'm gonna try and film my h&m fall clothing haul maybe today or tomorrow and get that up and then I also place an order on forever 21 i have not shopped at forever 21 in quite a while i think it's been probably like over a year now but forever 21 had a lot of nice fall like jackets so i placed an order there i'm just i'm so excited for fall and even just fall activities gabe loves going to <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at myself because I'm like talking a bunch, but I want to take a bite of my food. Gabe really likes to go to football games in the fall time, so we'll probably be doing that. Go into the to the fair. I am going to the fair this year. I've not been to the fair in probably like three, four years. We used to go to the fair every single year as kids. My parents always took us to the fair. I absolutely love the fair. I love those like creaky rides. <laughs> and of course the fair food. I've been wanting to film a fair food video for YouTube ever since I started my channel. But I just haven't. Every year the fair comes by um i don't go as an adult anymore but i really want to this year i'm just so much more what do i want to i think i'm gonna finish this yeah there's just so many fall activities that i want to do this year and i'm so much more excited for fall this year compared to last year i mean I was excited for fall last year, but something is different about this year. Something is different. I'm just way more excited. Okay, now we need to try this milkshake. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I wish you guys could actually see it. Okay, let's just try it. Oh my gosh. This is like a fall kind of milkshake. Fall time in a milkshake. I mean, it definitely tastes like caramel. And caramel is an all year kind of flavor. But also, it's definitely a fall time kind of flavor in particular. This is really good. It tastes like a caramel. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like the flavors of this is very simple. It literally just tastes like caramel ice cream but you have the little crunchy bits in it which adds a really nice texture mm, i do enjoy that it makes me wish fall was here even more i was so upset about not doing anything summery but now i've accepted it and i'm just like you know what i did a few summer things I went to the pool a few times. I enjoyed the hot weather. I'm ready for fall now. Bring on the fall time. There's this YouTube couple that I watch. <laughs> They've been to the beach like at least three, four times this summer so far. And they were talking about going to the beach one more time before summer ends. And I'm like, dang. Will I ever be like that? Will I ever be the kind of person where I'm like, 
just full swing summer mood vacay after vacay i don't know if i'll ever be that person i always get excited about fall like i said this year's different i'm definitely more excited but i am a fall girly for sure okay last bite of the sandwich you guys i'm finishing it off Some of y'all get so mad at me for not eating the last bite. The last bite is always the worst bite. Because by the time you get to the last bite, it's such a small piece of food, like it's a small bite that is just left on its own so it gets cold. I feel like the last bite is just never good. So I just don't finish the last bite. And I, I like, I like it that way. <laughs> Okay, I know fruit is not the most interesting thing ever, but if you guys like fruit, try Chick-fil-A's fruit cup. It's so good. Um, it was a very heavy meal. Very, very heavy. So, having some fruit afterwards... is just so refreshing. Sorry, my camera cut off. Had to restart it. But before I let you guys go... Because my camera is about to die. You guys need to watch a show on Netflix that a lot of you guys have probably already started watching or is watching. I think it's like number one right now. But it's called Who is Aaron Carter? Have you guys started it? Let me know. It's so good. I'm addicted. I've also been watching... Oh no, I finished The Ultimatum. <gasps> Season two of The Ultimatum. Did you guys watch it? I love that show. I actually got Gabe into that show. And mind you, Gabe hates reality dating shows. Anytime I watch Love Island, he's like, oh my God, turn this off. <laughs> but he actually got into The Ultimatum. And he's like excited for the last two episodes because the last two episodes don't come out until the 30th. August 30th is when they'll come out and that's whenever you see like who ends up ending up who who ends up with who I love the ultimatum so yeah let me know if you guys have watched season two yet and then who is Aaron Carter I've been really loving that show Gabe and I also watched the sixth sense last night which my car always does that like lurches forward but we watched the sixth sense last night which is a kind of older thriller movie it's not even really a thriller mm, i guess it is it's not scary at all but it's very very good and it has like that vintage old-timey feel because it is a vintage movie <laughs> it was made back in 1999 so pretty vintage now Really good movie. Yeah, I'm still in my binging shows and movies era. I've also finished quite a few books, which I've posted on my Instagram. So if you guys are more interested in books, make sure you're following me on Instagram, which is at KDaisySue. Follow me over there. I try to always post the books that I read on my story and give like a short little review on it. I really want to get Goodreads. I mean, I have Goodreads. I do have Goodreads, but it never works on my phone or on my computer. It always crashes. You guys always ask me if I have a Goodreads, but I'm like, is it just my Wi-Fi? I don't know. It never works for me. Mm. Everything was really good. I would give the sandwich, I would give that sandwich maybe a 7.5 out of 10. It was really good. Like, I really enjoyed it, but it was a lot going on with the flavors. I think I would just take either the honey off or the jalapenos off. I wouldn't keep both of them, but it was it was really good. I would definitely recommend it. Definitely try it for sure. I mean, that was a good sandwich, and I love pimento cheese. But yeah, that's going to be... Oh, oh, this... <laughs> the milkshake. The milkshake, I would give a 9 out of 10. 10, 10 if you like caramel. 
9 out of 10. I think that I think that's all in. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new pimento sandwich at Chick-fil-A. Do you guys plan on trying it? What about the new milkshake? Let me know. But I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.